Hey everyone, how's it going today? And welcome back to another second stimulus check and second stimulus package unemployment benefits extension update. I hope everyone is doing well. So in today's update, I basically want to give you guys a further explanation explaining the Fed Ed slash the EB program, which if you're not really familiar with it by now, is that basically it's an extension program that's going to potentially extend your unemployment benefits by about 20 weeks, possibly 20 weeks. Now, not every single person is going to be able to qualify for it, so I do really Really want to note it right on the spot however that's what we're going to talk about in today's video we're going to basically explaining the program in much greater detail what it is how does it work and how to actually physically get on it assuming you are actually qualified for it now if you are brand new here or you have any questions about any of the different unemployment benefits programs I did make another video previously that explains all of the different programs in very very clear detail because as was mentioned before is that there's obviously so many different programs that have been going on such as like the PUA, PEUC, UIUC, F, uh, PUC, LWA with FEMA and then of course this video is going to be about the FedEd slash LWA. The name of that video and I'll also put it at the end on the thumb screen um, it's basically called 59 weeks or how to get 59 weeks of unemployment um, because that's the total amount if you qualify for all of them. But within that 59 weeks, the Fed Ed is how you're going to potentially get 20 weeks within that 59 weeks of unemployment. So we're going to get right to it. But before we begin, make sure you smash the like button if you can because it always does help to support this channel. Consider subscribing and hitting the bell notification button for any updates about stimulus checks on employment or just general finance topics. And also, also consider commenting any questions thoughts about anything at all if you do have anything or even if it's just whether this is about unemployment stimulus checks or really just honestly anything at all thoughts questions um, even just to say hello it's always great to see familiar faces so with that being said let's get this video started So the Fed Ed slash the EB program is basically the most recent unemployment benefits extension program that can potentially take your unemployment benefits extended by another 20 weeks. It basically follows the PEUC program, which as we've mentioned in past videos, basically is that you have the state slash the PUA unemployment program, um, which is basically going to be 26 weeks plus the PEUC, which is 13 weeks. And then now plus the Fed Ed slash the EB program, which is going to potentially extend it by 20 weeks depending on what your state is doing. Now as mentioned it's important to notice is that not every single person can qualify for the Fed Ed slash the EB program and not every state is even going to be doing it. Now thankfully most states are doing it. Majority of the states are but it's really just based on your unemployment rate and also just keep in mind is, is that this Fed Ed slash EB program only applies if you're on the traditional regular state unemployment so it doesn't apply if you are on the PUA. That's kind of why there's a lot of anxiety right now for a lot of people that are on unemployment because their unemployment is going to potentially truly end on December 31st, 2020 and technically even before end because the cycle ends on a Sunday. Now with that being said, it probably is still worth knowing only because even if you're on the PUA, there is actually a chance that later on you can maybe transfer from the PUA into the regular state unemployment and apply for that. This is even more true if you actually have a W-2. Because there's some people that maybe have like you know, multiple kind of jobs and side hustles. Like I know for me, I work in the film and events industry. So there's a lot of people in my industry that actually have both a regular self-employed uh, 1099 and a W-2. Now in my last video, the one that I mentioned called 59 States, I explained the difference between the PUA and the regular state unemployment. So if you are interested, consider checking that out and I'll also put it at the end. But basically the Fed Ed slash the EB program is really based on your state's unemployment rate. So actually, actually I'll throw up this map right here that basically shows all of the different unemployment rates across the different state. This is actually probably also pretty insightful just to see how many people are physically unemployed in our country. So if you are going through this, the big thing is just to stay strong and know that there's so many different people that are going through the same thing right now. The higher your state's unemployment rate is, the more likely and longer they're probably going to be doing the Fed Ed slash the EB program. Oh, and by the way, the Fed Ed slash EB, it's basically the same exact program. The only difference is just the terminology. In California, they call it the Fed Ed. In New York and basically most other states, it's called the EB. I know that because New York and California have one of the highest unemployment rates right now. I believe New York has an unemployment rate average of about 12.8%. 
10. So it's crazy to think because New York City has about 8 million people. So basically just in New York City, one city alone, there's basically potentially right around a million people that are unemployed and still counting. Now California, I believe, has an unemployment rate of about 11.9%. So both of these states do qualify and many other states also do as well. I only use this because I know there's a lot of you guys here that are from New York and California. Feel free to also comment if you're from another state or like how the unemployment is going where you're at. But basically both New York and California are doing the Fed Ed slash the EB program for another 20 weeks if you are able to qualify for it. So really keep that in mind. The higher your state's unemployment rate is, the more likely they're going to be doing this program and the more likely the longer they're also going to be doing it for. Now this graph shows the exact number of weeks that your state is currently doing the FedEd slash the EB program for depending on it. Now keep in mind is, is that this amount can actually change because it really really depends on how high your unemployment rate is in your particular state is. So we can really really fluctuate particularly if your state actually gets better better later on and the unemployment rate drops. The number of weeks on the right next to the plus sign is basically how many weeks your state is currently extending it under the Fed Ed slash the EB program. If there is no number next to your state, then it likely means that it's actually not doing the program. But thankfully most states, I believe the majority over 30, more than half of the states um, are going to be doing this program. Now in terms of how to actually qualify for it or how to actually physically get onto it, um, in order to qualify for it, the first is that you actually have to be on regular state unemployment as mentioned. And then the second thing is, is that there's an actual physical math and I'll probably make a future video explaining the math because I don't want to make this video way too you know, complicated with all of the different numbers or too long in general. Uh, but basically there's an actual physical math depending on what your base salary or income was before you even got on the unemployment. The general idea is, is that the more income or the more money you are making before the unemployment, all of this stuff happens, the more likely you're probably going to be able to qualify for it. Now in terms of how to actually physically get onto it, for most states, it actually should be automatic. So that is the really, really great news. The majority of the states, it should actually either automatically already have you basically transition and get onto it. Or if you do actually have to physically do a certain something, they're likely going to actually contact you either by a physical letter in the mail or by email or by reaching out to you inside like the actual portal slash website that you go onto when you physically certify your unemployment every single week. But I do believe that for most people, it should be automatic. So that is the really, really great news. So that's really what I really just wanted to cover in today's video. I basically just wanted to give you guys a little bit of a better idea about the Fed Ed slash the EB program, how it basically works, how you know if you qualify for it. Feel free to maybe comment any questions, thoughts about anything at all, whether this is unemployment or stimulus in general, or honestly just any really anything you guys like uh, but hopefully that gave you guys a little bit of insight I maybe may make a video in the future explaining uh, the actual math side to how to know if you physically qualify for it um, I just didn't you know want to make this video way too long and complicated but so definitely consider subscribing if you are interested in that or any kind of stimulus unemployment finance topics remember to smash the like button if you haven't done so already and uh, and feel free to comment any questions thoughts about really anything at all so thank you guys so much for watching stay safe stay well and hope to see you guys next time thank you guys so much again